Hello everybody, we are so happy you are back. This time we are in Kiev and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's go! Here is our Airbnb in Kiev. What are you doing? What are you doing, huh? FBI, open up! I'm eating peanut butter. Peanut butter? Oh, nice manicure. Okay, will not disturb you. This apartment looks like in a studio. We have a kitchen. Lemina is uh, discovering the kitchen. TV and the bed. So this is the balcony view of our Airbnb. There is Vistavkovy Center. In Russian and Ukrainian culture, they eat so much sugar and mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise, but in, for example, all the salads, mayonnaise in everything, even on the meat, it's mayonnaise. And also, they eat raw fat from a pig, like bacon fat, but raw on bread. And I think it's so gross, it's horrible. And in their culture, they also drink a lot of tea. <laughs> with sweets and I love tea with sweets but they ha even have sugar inside the tea and for me it's very strange to have sugar in the tea with something sweet I love Georgian food I tried it first time in Kiev like two years ago with Alec and I never had it anywhere else. I love Hachapuri and King Kale and today we will try something new and before I also tried Doma and I love everything except sometimes they put the cilantro or coriander inside and I don't like that spice. I think it tastes like soap but otherwise it's I think one of my absolute favorite foods in the world. Now we got some of our food. We got King Kale with the lamb this one, and this have pork and beef and then we got this dish called full georgian i want to try this oh it's so much meat oh it looks so good Hinkali with the lamb. It's like Georgian dumpling with meat inside and dip it in the sour cream which calls smetana. First you bite and drink the water out and then you bite. cheese on it and an egg yolk and you do like this Ooh. then you take a piece of the bread and you dip it Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we are going to the dance school. It's the first time we are in this new dance school. Very early in the morning and it's quite intense graphic until the night. Yeah. But of, of course we have breaks. So now we have 11 minutes to sleep. <laughs> and then we go to practice again. <laughs> really mean to sleep. Come on. Bruh. We I don't have so much breaks to dance. <laughs> we start at 8 and finish like 9.30 and I think maximum is like 2 hours break but usually it's a 45 minutes break between everything. I have never experienced so cold weather as in Ukraine. In Kiev two years ago I was the coldest I have ever been in my life so I have learned now to wear really warm clothes. <laughs> So blinding 
Look out, move! We just bought to try Glint Vein in Ukraine. It was a lot of flavors, but we took blueberry. I don't like alcohol. I never drink alcohol. Every time I taste alcohol, I think it tastes bad, so I don't think this would be good. But in Sweden, we have something similar. It's called Glug, but it's no alcohol inside. <laughs> so you love it? I hate it. It's so bad. <laughs> Alex, it's your turn. It's not bad. I think it's good. So Wilhelmina came back directly after practice at night. I'm walking by Pusata Hata. Pusata Hata means fat house, but it's more like, a, you call it milk bar in English, I think, where you'd like choose what you want and you just pay for what you got and it's very very cheap and super delicious and we live in the same building and even when we go out from our apartment door you can smell from Pusata Hata so I get hungry every time <laughs> I never imagined that Pusata Hata would be like my favorite restaurant in Ukraine we are having lunch in Pusata Hata one of my favorite places <laughs> I have cutlets, then vegetables and vaniniki with cherries my favorite Alex has sausage, potato and bush. Cherry vaniniki. So good. So strange but so good. So we didn't show you so much uh, Ukraine because we were very busy with the dancing. I like Ukraine very much. But every time we are here we dance so 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 much and train very much, walk very far. So every time I get super tired. Just you know very far, it's 100 meters, it's right across. It's not 100 meters, it's at <laughs> least one kilometer to it's, walk back and forth it's many right times per day. <laughs> the dance school right across the... It's not right road. across the street, we yes. have to go yes. through a park and blah blah blah. 